While recording animations in Character Animator, you cannot drag multiple draggable items at once. For instance, this hand right here, I only have one mouse, so I only can drag one hand at a time. So what you can do is you can make adjustments later on in the animation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an animation. I already added in a walk right here, as you can see right here. So let's say the character walks in and then uh, does a little, let's say a hand wave and so forth, just like that. So let's just go ahead and make a record just like this. Three, two, one. Okay, the character is walking just like this, as you can see. And then the character waves right over here, just like this. And then swings the hand right over here and walks again and comes back just like that. So I'm just going to stop this out and every behavior is there now. So if I were to play this out, you, you, you can see that the character walks in right over there, goes there and then waves right here. And then uh, it actually comes back right over here. It goes there, comes back. All right, so what you can do is, let's say, instead of one wave right here, I didn't do a very good wave right there. I just did a very uh, rough wave. So what I can do is I can record it and I'm going to hold this hand. I'm going to make just a subtle movement right here, just like this, right? So that it replaces out the animation of the hand right there and then stop it. All right, so there's the handle as you can see right there. So it actually moves, so it replaced all of the other animations right there, as you can see, there's no walk whatsoever. We got the hand wave a bit, which has been replaced, and you can see the divide right here. So now if I want to work further up with the hand wave right here, you can see that everything is here. So if I want to work further with the hand wave, I'm just going to go around and then record it out right here from this section, let's say, uh, from the section where, uh, there's a hand wave. I'm just going to pause this out. If it doesn't pause, so it's an error, you can just refresh out the scene right here, just like that. And then go around right here. There's the hand wave. Let's just go around right here. Okay. And somewhere around here. So there's the character walking out, walk out. So there's the hand wave right here. So right over here, what I want to do is I want to record another hand wave of this, this one right now. So let's just go here and record the hand wave right over here and then that set that hand wave has been recorded as well so now what happens is that there are two hand waves so you can see that there's the character the character walks just like that and then the both of the hands as you can see it waves out even if we recorded those in separate times just like that and walks the character walks just like that as you can see there's an error that you can see that the character is not in the right place when I drag around and go somewhere else. You can just refresh out the character just like this and hit the play button right over there. And then the character begins at the same place just like that again. And that is how you can make animation adjustments even after you rec made a recording inside of Character Animator to add in more actions into it. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.